Hello scientists, I'll show you how to draw receptor tyros in kindness in Inkscape. Grab your rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. Okay, this rectangle is white, so I'll change the color so you can see it better. Let me see, yeah, I'll use this emerald color. So this is the transmembrane domain and we need to make it into a rod shape. So grab the ellipse tool and draw an ellipse that's uh, right on top of the rectangle. Okay, let's give them an outline and I will change the thickness to 0 0.5 plus D to make a copy of the ellipse and then let's move it all the way down to the bottom of the rectangle. Now we need to combine the rectangle and the bottom ellipse. So let's select both of them and come to object and union. Then these two shapes become one. I'll make a copy of this rod and move it up here and then scale it down to a smaller version of the rod and then place it right here. This is a little bit too long. I will shorten it down by moving these two nodes. Okay, let's make a circle and put it right on top of it and then I'll make a copy of it. Then scale it down and I will select everything and then come to the alignment window to align everything to the center. Select the top two circles and then I will come to object and subtract the circle. That will be the receptor binding site. And then I'll unite the small parts and the receptor binding site. And now let's uh, work on the cytosol part. So first draw a rectangle and then hold and drag this the circle node on the top right and then you can round the corners of the rectangle. Now we'll create a long C terminal for the tyrosine kinase. So let's grab the path tool and draw a path. Click and drag to make a little curve down here and I'll make this path thicker, maybe 1.5 points wide. And I'll go to the stroke style panel to make it a round cap. Then I'll grab the ellipse tool to draw a circle. We need three ellipses on the side of this line. They will be the tyrosine. They will be the phosphorylation sites. Select the black line, come to path, and then click on stroke to path. So now this path can copy the style of the rest of the receptors. So I'll select all the cytosol objects and make them into one union. Zoom in and uh, select these two nodes and we need to make them smooth. So come up here to click on this icon in the control panel. Then you can have a smooth transition to the C terminal. So that's the overall shape and let's grab the gradient tool. Select linear gradient in the control panel and then come to the object and click and drag. And zoom in, then you can see this gradient handle. And we need to make one extra node at the center of the handle. Click at the center of the handle to create one more gradient stop. And then uh, let's fill it in with a white color. Fill in the same emerald color on both sides. So you can reuse the gradient in the gradient tab. So just come here and then select the gradient. And you see we need to adjust it a little bit so the white can be at the center. So for the ligand binding site, we need a radial gradient instead. So remember to, come, remember to come up here to the control panel to switch it to the radial gradient. And then we need only two gradient stops and the white needs to be at the center. I'll make a copy of the whole thing and then let's select the cytosol part and flip it vertically. So now we can start to make the story about how the receptor tyrosine kinase dimerizes. Let's create a circle and this will be the ligand and, and let's use the gradient tool to fill it in with a magenta radial gradient. So this will be our growth factor. And I will make an arrow to indicate where the growth factor is going. So let's create a line and then I'll go to the stroke style. And here we can select an arrowhead for our line. So now I'll use the text to indicate where the tyrosines are and uh, I will make these arrows to indicate where the, the steps of the dimerizations go in and now we will need to create some phosphates. So let's draw a circle and let's fill in with a purple gradient which is conventional for the phosphate 
and that's write a big capital P on top of the phosphate. Then I will use text to indicate the step of the phosphorylation. And that's basically it. That's how you draw the receptor tyrosine kinase. This is a cut from my live stream. I live stream on Twitch every Sunday, so come hang out with me and uh, let me know in the comments which topic you want to see. Then I will put it up in a poll in my community tab. You guys can vote for it every Friday, so remember to vote. And you can also campaign for your own vote because it's an open vote. So ask your friends to uh, vote for the topic. Inkscape is a free open source software, so I highly recommend it. Uh, you guys can check it out. I put the download link in the description below. I'm not sponsored by them. Uh, it's just that you, a lot of you guys have told me that you don't have access to other Illustrator at your institutions. So uh, Inkscape is a very good alternative. If you want to check out the recordings of the live stream, you can check out my YouTube membership page and Patreon. You can find the archive there and uh, give a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And I'll see you in the next video.